Jeff the General here with another quick tip. All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the best way to upload your songs to YouTube. Uh, I did have a video a while ago showing you the best way to upload your songs to YouTube, but this video will be different. We're going to be using a software that's, that's compatible with Mac and PCs. If you want to watch the last video, click on the link above. But in the meantime, if you like what you see, like what you hear, feel free to subscribe and share. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy is coming through. All right, let's get creative. Jeff the General. Alright, so I'm going to show you two versions, one with an image and one with a video. Uh, we're going to be using a software called Shotcut, which is a free, simple editing software to use. The link is in the description. Download it, install it. it, takes about two minutes to do that. Once you've done that, open up the software, you're faced with a simple interface. The first thing you're going to want to do is name your project. Do that. My name's Coco. Hit start. On the left hand side, you've got four tabs, playlist, filters, properties and exports. Now, I like to have mine on playlists at all times. The reason why I say that is because that way you have access to your files easy and quickly. You can just drag and drop your files whenever you need them. Now, to bring your files into the project, tap on open file. You can bring your files in that way. Or if you already have your folder open like I have, simply highlight all your files and drag and drop them in. Now, the bottom here is your timeline. You want to drag your image into your timeline and that's there. Now you want to right click on an empty space of your timeline, track operation and audio track. Now audio track is now underneath your image. You want to drag your audio track and place it right underneath the image right there. Using your zoom tab right here, you want to zoom out. The reason why I say that is that way you can just have a clear vision of the length of your track, right? like I have right here. Tap on the image above. You will know what track you're working with when you tap on it because you've got this red border around it. So if I tapped on the track, I've got a red border around that. But in this case, I'm going to work with my, my image track. I've got a red border around it. I drag the track across to the length of my image. And that's ready to go. You can leave it like this and export, but I like to fill up my image and some people might like to do so too. So the best, into, the best way to do that is to tap on an image again, hit filters, the plus sign, and then type in size. Now when you type in size, you get to size, position and rotate. You get a white border around your image. What you want to do is use the zoom to bring your image in like so. So fill up the 16 by nine frame like I'm doing here. I want to place my female right here in the middle. So by doing that, I'm happy with that. So now I want to export this whole video. I'm going to press play to make sure my track is everything is in line. And that's ready to go. I'm going to hit export. You tap on the YouTube icon then, or the YouTube uh, um, name, and then export file. I'm going to name this Coco. Hit save to my desired folder. Say yes to that, and everything's good to go. So that's one file done. Now I'm going to show you another way to do it using a video. All right, so that's now exported. I can check that by going to my folder, right click, open file with my trusted VLC. As you can see there, the file's playing and ready to go. I'm gonna show you another way using a, using a video. Come out of that, delete the image, go to playlist, bring down my video and place it once again above my track. Now you can see the video is slightly shorter than my actual track. So I'm gonna copy and paste that across the length of my track. Control C to copy, Control V to paste. I'm going to keep doing that until I get to the end of my track. Now, when you're using Shotcut, uh, try and save as often as you can. You know, just Control S as often as often as you can, because uh, Shotcut does have the tendency to crash on you while you're using it. So while I'm doing this, I, I try to just Control C as often as I can, Control S as often as I can. All right, so that's my video and my track aligned go back press play and that's ready to go once again i'm going to go to export make sure i've got the youtube highlighted export file and i'm going to call this one coco one since i already have a coco and export all right that's it you've got two versions now one image and one video whichever version you're using for youtube simply choose that go to youtube log in hit the upload button select the file put the details in don't forget the tabs, important. And once you've done that, 
you're good to go. So if you like what you see, like what you hear, feel free to subscribe and share. Hit that notification button so you know when your boy is coming through. And I'll see you on the next GIF the General tip. GIF the General.